So here is question number six, everyone. With what minimum acceleration can a fireman slice down a rope whose breaking strength is one by fifth of his weight given that G is equal to 10 meter per second square? According to the question, tension is given here, tension in the string T is given that is one fifth of weight or mg by 5 where m is the mass of man. Now if we see the situation diagrammatically we will find this is the string through which the fireman slides down with acceleration a the forces acting on the fireman will be its weight mg tension in the string t under the influence of these two forces the person is moving with acceleration a downward so we can write mg minus t equals ma mg minus t is mg by 5 equals ma m m m cancel out after solving we will get the value of a that is 4 by 5 times g putting the value of g as 10 we will get a as 8 meter per second square so we can go with option number three which is absolutely correct moving on to the next question that is seven number so here is question number seven everyone a block is placed on a rough inclined plane which is fixed in an elevator the angle of inclination is theta equals 10 inverse mu where mu is the coefficient of friction between block and inclined plane the elevator is accelerated vertically upward with an acceleration a the acceleration of block with respect to inclined plane will be what now the forces acting on the block from the frame of reference of elevator can be given as weight of the block mg the block is inside the elevator which is accelerating upward so a pseudo force will act on the block opposite to the acceleration of frame that is downward and force will be ma now the component of these two forces one will be here and can be written m within bracket a plus g sine theta another component along this line can be given as m times a plus g cos theta normal reaction n along this side and friction along this side now applying the second law of motion we will get f minus m times g plus a sine theta equals zero because we are in the frame of this elevator now we can write f equals m times a plus g into sine theta similarly we can write n equals m times a plus g cos theta equation number one equation number two dividing one and two we will get the value of f by n as tan theta and f by n is equal to what mu since f by n equals mu and according to the question mu is given as tan theta so here the case is of limiting friction here the case is of limiting friction therefore the acceleration of this block with respect to the inclined plane will be zero therefore the acceleration of block with respect to plane will be zero now, if you see the option we can say that option number four is absolutely correct so we'll go with option number four only moving on to the next question that is question number eight so here we have question number eight everyone two blocks a and b of masses 10 kilogram and 5 kilogram respectively are connected through an inextensible string as shown in figure 
A force of magnitude 10 Newton is applied on block A in horizontal direction. The acceleration of block B at this instant will be what? All the surfaces are given smooth and G we have to 10 meter per second square. Now here 10 Newton is horizontal direction and here 5 kg the weight 5 G that is 50 Newton is in downward direction which is greater than this 10. So we can say this block goes down with an acceleration let us assume A. As a result A will move towards left direction with the same acceleration A. Writing the equations we will get for 5 kg 5 G minus T equals 5 A. Similarly for 10 kg block we have T minus 10 Newton is equal to 10 times A equation number 2. Solving from 1 and 2 we will get 5g that is 5 into 10 minus 10 is equal to 15a therefore acceleration will be 40 by 15 or 8 by 3 meter per second square option number one we can go with which is absolutely correct moving on to the next question that is question number nine so here we have question number nine everyone a thin uniform rod of mass one kilogram and length 0.3 meter is smoothly hinged at one end. The rod is released from horizontal position and allowed to rotate in the vertical plane. The angular velocity of the rod when it becomes vertical will be what? We have to take g as 10 meter per second square. So considering the situation we will have this is the initial situation of the rod hinged at this point the center of mass will act somewhere here means the whole weight of the rod will act somewhere here now due to its weight the rod will rotate and come down this way and the final situation we can consider like this so we can say the mass of rod or the weight of rod or the rod has lowered by a height L by 2 where L is length of the rod started with initial velocity 0 suppose after reaching at this point the angular velocity is omega writing the energy equation we have mechanical energy of rod is conserved therefore change in potential is equal to change in kinetic we can write change in potential that is mgl by 2 is equal to change in kinetic rotational kinetic energy it will have so half i omega square 2 and 2 gets cancel out m into g into l is equal to moment of inertia of the rod about this point o that is end is given by ml square by 3 so ml square by 3 into omega square single l cancel out m and m cancel out the value of omega we can write under root 3 g by l now putting the data from the question in this given expression we will get the value of omega as 10 radian per second option number three we can go with moving on to the next question that is question number 10 question number 10 everyone Find the minimum value of mass m as shown in figure that must be placed on this 40 kg block placed on the table so that the system remains at rest. The coefficient of friction between block and table is 0 0.25 and we have to take acceleration due to gravity as 10 meter per second square. Now considering this whole as a system. Now the forces acting on the system is tension T along this direction friction that is limiting along this direction and since the system has to be at rest acceleration must be zero we can write T minus limiting friction is equal to zero T minus friction will be mu times normal reaction that is small m plus for T into G is equal to 0 considering as equation number 1 now write the equation for this 20 kg block weight mg that is 20 g downward tension in the string t 
t upward. So 20g minus t is equal to 0. Equation number 2. Now from 1 and 2, let us solve. We will get 20 into g that is 200 minus mu is 0 0.25 m plus 40 into 10 is equal to 0. Now 200 is equal to m plus 40 into 10 divided by 4. 0.25 can be written as 1 by 4. This is a small m. Remember. Now after solving we can easily get the value of this small m that is 40 kilogram. Option number 3 we can go with. Now moving on to the next question that is 11 number.